Okay, I'm landing against the Terror Blade. I just clicked on him. He has a Quelling Blade and three Tangos. I am ready to hit level three and dumpster him. Before we jump into the video, I want to let you guys know that you can check out guides just like this one made by top tier pros over at GameLoop.com. We have thousands of guides that can teach you the game of Dota 2 in depth and help you gain MMR much quicker than you usually would. Now let's jump into it. I love when players do this. I'm smurfing. I typically don't smurf. So for all you haters, this is kind of like a one-time thing. In this lane, all I have to do is basically survive and I'll be fine. And the best way I like to survive the lane is letting this range creep go. So typically what people will do is just kind of AFK and then look for solutions before, like after the lane starts. But I look for the solution before the, before the lane starts at all. So I let this range creep go. This guarantees that my lane is going to push and we're off to a good start. In fact, here I'm going to let the melee creep go because I want an even bigger separation. Now here I don't want to die the shaman, so I'm going to back off now. I don't think I die here because of my reactive armor. But yeah, so they're going to spend their time zoning me. That's fine. I'll just need another tango. But because, like see now, if I didn't do that, that creep block, my lane's in a really hard spot. Right, but the lane's going to push now. So I'm fine. Like totally, like completely fine. You see this, guys? No, I can. I should have even gone to that wave and let the range creep go. Because now there's two range creeps and he, the, the lane's going to push. And then what happens next is it tilts rage. They're like, dude, how did you let the lane push? What are you doing? I'm going to get my Quelling Blade so I can get all the CS. They rage, they tilt. I mean, they should go pull, which it looks like they're doing. In fact, I should get this XP here. Nice, good. Looks like they might have gotten the pull off, but that's okay. I definitely don't want to give him these range creeps. They did a good job in pulling. And this is the importance of the Quelling Blade. If I don't have a Quelling Blade here, and I don't get denied. Oh, that was close to being bad. So in this lane, I definitely want to take my W, because I'm getting tri lane. Now at this point, uh, I just want to try to use my double creep wave to get somewhat of an advantage. That's fine. Eat a tango. No. I'm gonna imagine that they're gonna push the lane again. At this point, we're just gonna sap XP. Like, considering they're tri laning, this lane's going fine relative to what it could be. Juke out the shaman a bit. You can even play in the trees a bit. I have no problem with getting zero CS right now, only because I know I can bring it back later. So, like, the supports always do this weird thing where they kind of, like, zone you, but then don't. It's like, they don't zone you enough, so you can kind of always come back. But you notice I'm being very patient. I have 5 CS, which is fine. I um, mean, I'm level 3, that's what's important. Because basically, if I if I get even decent levels, I can zone this TB out, get a few denies, because he's trash, punish him for that. I know he only has 3 tangos, so at this point, all the damage I do is, like, a big deal, right? And now the lane went from being hard to basically in my favor, which is huge, obviously. Alright, somehow, <laughs> my tri lane died to the solo off laner. I don't want to tank the tower, necessarily. I do want to pressure these CS, though. Oh, he should have gotten that. I'm going to block him. Oh, I kind of messed that up, but I'm just, I'm like, basically, I'm just going to mess with the CS. Make sure he doesn't get any, or gets as little as possible. You can, like, you'd be surprised. If you, if you go for denies and you get good at it, you can really just grief people's brains. So I'm not winning this lane. I probably will, I mean, he's out of tangos now. Probably has to buy a stick if he wants to stay alive. All right, he bought a Gloves of Haste. Like, this guy's so incredibly greedy. The only reason he's not getting crushed now is because, obviously, I got tri lane to start, but now I'm going to just start auto-attacking him. In fact, I'm considering getting an Orb of Venom so I can beat him even harder. Do you think I care about your meta? You can reduce his damage a bit. My Q. This is the importance of the Quelling Blade. If I was getting deny here, I'm going to delay my spike, but now... I don't even know where his supports are. What the frick? Why is he T- Okay, so now the lane's just over because he burned TP. So now he can't get back to the lane. And like, this is why you can win any lane. Like, if you're not getting off to a good start, there's basically no excuse. I got sh I got Shaman AA'd. They, they ran a Shaman and an AA at me and they lost the lane. Like, you can't lose lanes, guys. It's too, it's too important to, to do well in lane. Alright, so Shaman's gonna try to drag. I wanna keep this card alive for as long as possible, so I'll run at the Shaman a bit. I mean, not the Shaman, I'm sorry. Hey, why am I saying Shaman? Now I'm almost level 6, and then this guy can't lane at all, so we're in a really good spot here. In fact, I'll try to boost up my 6 a bit. Yep, we're 6. No, we're just gonna run him down. Yeah, and see, the game's over. So, like, basically, like, this game is basically over now, so I turned a losing lane into a winning lane by... Basically being patient and waiting for my spikes. I'm not saying it's this simple. I'm making it simple than it simpler than it is. There's a lot of like good last hitting that comes into play here. But hopefully you guys can kind of see it. You know, like I've taken their tier one tower and I got tri lane to start. Most players would get be getting dumpstered. And that's not to flame. That's just to put it in perspective. So now I'm going to make sure he gets zero CS. I'm literally going to stand here and just deny creeps. So he gets tilted. I'll be patient. And it looks like my other lanes are doing fine, which is good. So their lone druid's only level 4, which is great, because he's my counterpart. And now at this point, I really do want my mana boots. Nice thing is, they really don't have heroes to kill me throughout this game. They kind of have Kunkka, and they have AA. 
But I mean like currently, I need to lack a little bit. So I still have my card alive, which is a big deal, and I really want to tank for it. So I'm going to make sure I go first. I actually don't want to tank too much damage, to be frank. So it looks like they're ganking me, which is fine. I might die. I actually might not die, to be honest. I'm going to try to get the third blade kill. So yeah, I mean, this is basically the power of my hero. Like, you get off to a good start, and you get four heroes to run at you, and the game's basically free for the rest of my team. Now, I'm even going to buy a Bassy, just to really up my push a bit. And yeah, because we kept this card alive, now we've gotten basically the tier 2 tower at 8 minutes. Uh, I don't need you guys bottom. Make stacks for Storm and stuff. Now, Storm, just farm mid, please, please, don't come to this lane. See, this is where players make the mistake of, like, thinking they need to ship. No, no, no. Like, just, I'm the dead laner, right? Like, I want to play this lane. I don't want other people sapping my XP. Especially if I get off to this good of a start. Like, Ogre's trying to set up this gank, but for what? I'm just going to take this tower and then farm the nearby area. I don't want an Ogre here. Typically, try to be generally polite when I'm asking people to leave as well. Get the tower. Now, I have no problem trying to go high ground, to be honest. It's really like, I'll back after I, I force some heroes, but I want to force some heroes first. I also have my bass if I need. Like, see, I'm not going to be in this terrible at any catch-up. Alright, Kunkka's here. I mean, Kunkka doesn't really scare me, though. So I want to I wanna tank these creeps, just so I have reactive. It's very important for my hero. And I also want to go Vanguard this game, because I just want to keep running at them. So I like to go items like Vanguard. I'm a little bit crazy. Most players won't do this. Uh, and here I'm going to try to static the wave right here. And try to get a double wave with my cart. Should be possible. I'll, I'll just keep trying creep aggro. Alright, I might die. Alright, I'm definitely done. This is fine. My team should be farming. Like, so, I mean, like, good players will take advantage. Like, my storm's not farming nearly enough. You can tell he's just wasting time. You know, like, why is he walking up here? Like, they should just go farm. The Rubik's level 4. This is just terrible. Like, they don't need to siege mid here. They're giving the enemy team a gap to come back into the game by not buying tomes and just playing passive. Like, this is so bad. I, I don't even know how to... Ex People make the game harder for themselves for some reason. Instead of just farming and, like, like the Rubik should, no joke, go pole. Like, I... There's... No he doesn't have to do anything this game because of how hard I'm winning my lane. But they try to, and they kind of grief themselves. So here I'm not going to take the... Alright, just let me... Like, why farm here? Just Storm could go top or anything. Lone Druid is Tranquil Boots. Like, gosh, I hate this bracket. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um... No joke, there, there's like so much room to play now. I'm going to be a little bit more passive now that they have their level 6s in particular. I'm going to stack that camp as you saw. Play for efficiency at this point. Kind of do have to figure out or have a feel for when you need to back. So I think I'm going to go for the 200 health talent. I'm going to try out the mana regen. I haven't gone the mana regen. And I want to see if it's good. So it's actually more important that I farm these lane creeps than these jungle creeps. But as long as terribly it's not farming it, so like I can see him there. So it's good. My team's playing top now at least, which is what I wanted them to do. So I, I definitely want to build in the crimson this game. I don't think I want to do it right away necessarily. I want a lotus though. I honestly probably should have just rushed the lotus now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that would have been better. See, no one's farming mid, which I just don't get. There's so much farm here. I don't think I'm getting ganked. I mean, he definitely can't solo kill me, but... They have AA, so... I, I did first pick, by the way. I, I don't think I said that, but... I literally first picked... Did he go Shadowblade? I think Kunkka just went Shadowblade. I'm gonna back up. There's no reason for me to, like, play it risky here. They have heroes to kill me. Some games, like, I, I literally would ignore them and just keep going, but I think Sh Kunkka went Shadowblade. He did. Now he's foolish and showed himself in the wave, so I can kind of go back. Chill in the area. But my team can farm two lanes, basically three. Like, I don't want to leave the area, but uh, at the same time, it really looks like they want to kill me. Okay, Kunkka's mid. Basically, I'm just paying attention to a few heroes to see if I need to... I actually don't want to push the lane. I'd rather keep it back. Oh no, Shaman's showing. I'm totally fine. So I'm always paying attention to what heroes are showing. That's just what's most important. I really don't have feel the need to push this in right now, but because I'd rather deny more t uh, Terrorblade farm. They're, they're showing a lot of heroes top. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play more aggressive. Grief some Terrorblade farm. He's gonna miss this under tower. I should go get the bounties. I'm gonna block this camp and get the bounties. Also, I can pick up my Perseverance on the way there. I don't really need my Qualling anymore. It's close to Lotus. Lotus is great this game for Cold Feet. It's not so good against X. In fact, I think you could argue that Yule's better this game, but I really like the Lotus against Shaman because I feel like Shaman's more of a threat to me than the X combo, actually. I don't know if that's right or wrong, 100%. Like, you know, you, you can't always have the best answer, but I make my general assumption and I'm going to stick to it. And this is why it's so important to just stay in your lane. Like, there's no reason to rotate. I mean, I know I'm a Timber, so it's even more ex exaggerated. Like, there's literally no great way to rotate his Timber. It's kind of illogical. All right, this feels dangerous. I probably shouldn't walk up this hill. So my team's fighting. I, like, once again, I, I don't really care. That's kind of what's important to know here. I don't care, to be frank. Like, I'm not trying to win my team the game through ganking this time. I'm trying to win my team 
the game through becoming a snowballed core who's going to later on have pipe a crimson i'm going to have a lotus now so i can save anyone from shaman basically i find that my hero is very good this game so i have no problem playing for the late game my next item probably should be the crimson but i have a feeling these games are very afk based i mean i have a storm and a specter like this this comp is usually greedy but i'm making it ungreedy by just like not taking up any part of the map besides my own I prefer the spell amp on this hero as well. This is a side note. You know, it's like people are like, oh, what if they gank me as five bottom? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it almost never happens. Like, whenever I read comments like that, like when I tell people to stay bottom if they're winning their lane, they're like, yeah, I go, yeah but I get ganked. Well, and you're not back. Like, because basically you need to make, you need to back a, a few times in the early game so they feel like they can't kill you. And then, like, it's almost as if people stop trying. So here I kind of want to go mid. Looks like my storm's forcing something interesting. Like, you notice I put just as much of a priority on my own, on, on, my farm as shutting it down like we have we have the same exact priority you know what i mean i i don't i don't over i don't value one over the other all right no one's defending top i don't want to give Dr druid top i'm gonna tp top so like this is the only time where i'll leave my lane basically where i feel like my team isn't defending a lane they should be because there's really no reason for us to farm because now basically terribly it gets this right that's why i don't like i don't like leaving lane if i don't have to but i want to shove this into get the bounties ping out some bounties get the team on the case this is a tough game for me. Most games, I'd, I'd be more reckless, but they did pick AA Kunkka, which, and even Shaman, kind of makes my life hard because they can basically kill me no matter how farmed I am. Here, I have to back. Zero's annoying. He went Silver Edge, which is terrible. Like, I'm glad he, he's wasting his items on, on me. So I see Shaman. Shaman does not have Aether. It's very important to check things like that, guys. Like, not just to look cool, but for logical purposes. All right, this looks like a good fight. They're pretty far out of position, picking up my Yules. All right, my team barely needs me at this point, but I don't die, so I have no concerns of dying. Oh, I was so close on that. I almost I almost got that off. That was so close. The the Lotus on the Sunder. That's all right. We're in a good spot. We'll take their tier two tower. All right, I should back. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> People tell me they can't carry their games. They're stuck in their team because of their bracket. I don't need, like, what are you talking about? Like, you just carry your games, guys. I'll toss in a shock room for my... All right, he missed. See, they should be farming. Like, this, the fact that Storm has this little... Thank you, Storm, for your help. I definitely want the Shiva's next. Uh, do I? I'm running out of slots, actually. You can see, like, the importance of items, guys. Like, it's not all about... Dota's not about fighting. It's a lot about creeps. Like, I stopped fighting for a while. But, like, I got so much farm that that situation arises. Okay, so here, I'm communicating to my team what I think is important. The enemy team is turtling, right? A lot of teams would be like, oh, we have high ground. Let's go. I'm like, no, let's not go. Let's just choke them out and farm three lanes, right? Actually, I'm going to buy bots now, too. One second on courier. Don't force any fights, please. So I definitely want to keep farming all the camps nearby. I hate dropping mana boots like this, but I really want to hold bots. I don't trust these people enough not to hold bots. <laughs> not to sound like that guy, but I just don't feel like I can. Mana boots are great on this hero. I think they're underrated. I mean, I'm not underrated. Like, everyone bites mana boots on Timber, but like, when people disassemble them... See, Storm could be... Spec could be farming our jungle. Like, he should be. He's not farming fast at all. That's the pro Like, you really have to learn farming patterns as a carry player. He's like making our game hard by not farming enough. I, I don't know how to put it other than that. Honestly, the best thing you can do right now that I've thought of lately is, I mean, you essentially have your two supports in the side lanes and they just like deny creeps. They don't use any nukes, they just deny, so no waves go to the enemy base type of thing. I don't like this. This is so sketch. Alright, he can't get shackled at least. It's fine. Don't hit the top. That's just... Alright. So I definitely can hit it now. I have yules too. I'm just gonna reduce some stats. This Kunkka is... Kunkka is BKB, don't be... God, I hate this haunt. So unnecessary. He wants to hit me. This is such a bad lift. We're trying to force things when we don't need to. He has BK. All right, thank God he's bad. But like, he has BKB. There's no reason to pop my crimson. See, this is like, like, what are they? I, 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 one of the biggest mistakes of the ancient bracket is forcing things when you don't need to. It's funny. I say don't dive and then I dive. I'm gonna TP back. Hopefully they see it. So I can come back if I want to. Well, that's the typical ancient high ground. That's why, like, when people ask, like, they're like, "Oh, I, I, all my excuses just that I that, that I've been saying are just getting reef." Dude, there's a shaman walking up to you. 
Guess I have to use. Dude, I'm gonna die for this. Woo! Alright, Storm. Got, like, the hardest thing about these games is going high ground, which is why playing a hero like Timber is not so good, unless you can go high ground in, like, two minutes. Storm, go heal and defend high ground. Like, what are you doing? How do you, how do you even get there? Guys, don't fight. Get out. Get out! Get out! Like, uh, what are you do? Just run away! Now I have to buy back, because they can't just fade bolt. Just zip the wave. Just zip. Nice, nice. He missed the Terror Blade, but it's alright. I really have no interest in buying back. This guy should die. Zip. Zip. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being toxic to this bracket. I really... I'm t The thing is, I don't say it into the mic, right? They're, they're, so, I'm toxic, okay? Everyone's toxic. Like, it, it's almost impossible. I feel like it's very hard to not be emotional about this game. It's just whether or not you can avoid saying it. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, like I don't tell them when I think they're being dumb. I make calls, I make useful calls, right? What I say is either get back or do this, right? Like, it's not flame, it's not maybe this, maybe that. It's useful stuff that helps us win, right? That's the difference. It's the only words I'll type, guys. Like, like no joke, I will only type things like smoke and go. I have to kill this, I don't want him to farm. Like, Ogre, you're not smoked. Go push in mid or something. You're not smoked. Guess we're ganking the bear. It's not that bad, but... Alright, I saw a gap there, so I went. Typically, I don't advise diving, but... Got the AA. Typically, I don't advise, uh, advise diving, but, you know, I'm in. We go. Brother, you can't kill me, brothers. Come on, let's be smarter than that. Yeah, I barely can sustain this garbage. Maximum one, though. Can my storm just hit buildings? Should I go go hit the racks? Let me let me do this. Rubik, take the damage talent. Go. I actually kind of need to tank these towers. I'm not in such a good spot. Yeah, people are very very bad at high ground. So like, as a carry player, if I'm that terror blade, I'm never going. I'm not going back. Like, I'm I'm just gonna wait for the enemy team to just mess up because it's so common. Shaman is dead. Let's go. Let me go. The frick, there's no shaman. Like, you don't always want to force off one kill, but like, we're in advantage as is. Tank the tower a bit and get some stacks going. No, I'm just gonna auto the tower. This is what it takes. Don't stand on top of me. This is what we call an overcommittal, but whatever, it worked out. I don't think Terrorblade does any damage to me, frankly. Hopefully, I can get my Lotus off. Where's my Spectre? Like, why is he not hitting the tower? Spec, hit the tower! Is Terrible of Bracers? I, I, I know I noticed it earlier, but like... I just... I don't think my brain fathomed it. Not that it's that bad, but... Like, if you want to win these games, guys, and you get Tri-Lane... How this game typically would have gone with me getting Tri-Lane, if you're an ancient player, is... I lose my lane, I have to catch up, I'm probably gonna go like 1-7 by the end of the game. And I might win because I have good late game. That's what I'd bank on, not the fact that I carried my team. Like, pretty hard this game. To be frank, like, the Storm was pretty underfarmed. And, like, they they have good scores, but they, they didn't farm well. That's the thing. The AA will go on to blame it on his picks and not their lack of pulling or their lack of stack pulling or effectively pulling. I mean, I basically didn't get any creeps denied for me through, through pulling. It was like maybe a few in the early game. But yeah, don't make excuses. Play some Dota and win your lane. Hey guys, before I leave you, I just want to remind you that over at GameLeap.com, you can check out guides just like this one made by top tier pros. They will help you gain MMR faster. It will help you learn the game much more in depth. And overall, just increase the experience of your Dota gameplay as you will crush your opponents simply by knowing more than them.